Hello everybody, Harry from OpenAV here. I'd like to talk today about the OpenAV release system and why OpenAV won't be using the release system any longer. The reason that OpenAV is not using the OpenAV release system is down to the fact that there is a deadlock situation possible. With a deadlock situation, I mean if there's some people who have contributed financially to a project that's currently being funded, and it's not fully funded, then a situation arises where an amount of time has to pass before that source code is released. And that's not a winning situation for anybody. As a developer, I want to release the software as the people who have actually financially contributed to this project. They wish to use the software, so they wish to get the, sor the source code released. And then the OpenAV release system works against that because it's not fully funded yet. So there's a, a motivation left there for people to donate more money. But at the same time, if, if things have just tailed off and there are no other people interested, then we reach a deadlock situation where the developer doesn't gain from using the OpenAV release system and the users don't gain from it either. That's something I wish to avoid. So based on that, I'm no longer using the OpenAV release system for future projects. That means that the projects that have actually been funded with the OpenAV release system, they're just going to remain open source as they are. Any new projects that I w wish to release from now on, I'm going to use a purely donation based model where I just share the source code, I release it, and I hope that members of the community are willing to and able to financially contribute to OpenAV in return for doing that work on releasing the project. There's no commitment there, there is no uh, there's no waiting times or anything like that as the current release system has, this is just purely donation based. The reason why I've decided to change to this donation based model from the OpenAV release model is that other projects, so not OpenAV projects but two other uh, audio related software projects have used the OpenAV release system and have unfortunately not been as lucky in the support that they've received. This has made me understand that this deadlock situation is really something we want to avoid. As a community, it doesn't help us. As the developer, it doesn't help as it's just not a, a healthy situation. Um, based on that, I am no longer using the OpenAV release system uh, for the two projects. Uh, feel free to do whatever you wish. You may cancel the using the OpenAV release system and just release the code. Or if you wish to continue using it, feel free as well. Thanks very much. Um, in terms of OpenAV, I'm going to be releasing some projects pretty soon, so I've been talking about the FabLab 2 sampler for quite a while, that's coming up. There's also some news in terms of Artifacts and the AVTK project. So stay tuned for that, thank you very much. As a last closing note, I wish to thank everybody who supported OpenAV using the OpenAV release model. Um, it's been a fantastic experience for me, I really have been grateful for everyone who's donated. It's a fantastic experience if you write some code and then people yeah, show financially support. So for one, I have received some money from the, the work I've done as OpenAV, but also a token of appreciation for the hours that I've put in coding audio software here at OpenAV. And then to, to receive that acknowledgement for the work you've done is really a, a fantastic feeling. So thank you very much to absolutely everybody who has contributed in some way or another either financially or otherwise to OpenAV. It's been an absolute fantastic pleasure to, to work on OpenAV for me. Thank you very much and I'll keep you up to date. Thank you. Bye-bye.